Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, during the second anniversary livestream, uh, they show the semifinals, the third place match, and then the finals of the uh, Leonis Coliseum. So let's have a look at those here. Uh, Johnny on the left versus Nuko on the right. Uh, Nuko is uh, sticking to her Mono Dark team. Uh, Johnny has a new team uh, for this battle. It looks like Oberon, Joom, and Jaden. Okay, but Rom's Trustmaster onto Helena. Helena will use her Trustmaster for the barriers. Oberon, area of effect, resistance up. Jaden, agility up and magic up, self buff. And then the, uh, the commentators, they were thinking that Jaden maybe wanted to go up onto the wall. Uh, but was drawn away by the hate. Okay, defense and spirit up on Dwayne. And Saber, that will be accuracy up there. And Evade up from Stern. Okay, agility up, magic up again. Again, with the uh, area of effect resistance up. Okay, armor crusher, but not a lot of damage there. And there was a single target attack break from June. And barrier break from Super Stern. June is drawing all of the attacks, and then the three dark characters are lining up. So there's Jaden with his uh, arcing attack leading into Oberon's Limit Break for damage on all of them. And there they go. <laughs> okay, here, let's look at the uh, the detailed kind of party setup from Johnny. I took this off of his uh, Twitter account. Uh, but his strategy, uh, he gave the uh, Tourmaline Ring to Jaden. That was to give him jump plus two so he can get on top of the wall and then attack down. Uh, but, since Jaden was drawn away from um, Dwayne, he wasn't able to get up there. Uh, Johnny said that he was surprised that uh, Dwayne's agility was so high in order to uh, draw Jaden away. Uh, let's see, the, uh, the Whisper Trustmaster on uh, June is kind of surprising. <laughs> That'll give you a plus five attack resistances. Uh, we see the Elephicar's Paran Oberon, but yeah, okay. All right, next battle, uh, Adito on the left, and then uh, Ashobate on the right. Uh, Adito, he is the one that plays uh, with two rules. One, always use Ice. Two, always use Agrius. Uh, but since collaboration characters are not allowed for this tournament, uh, he had to take Agrius out. <laughs> uh, but like in the lower levels, uh, in the previous videos that I put up, uh, he was using level 99 Agrius in there and getting wins. Uh, but Adito is using the, uh, the Ice Evade party. And then he unfortunately did not put up uh, his uh, party comp on his Twitter. But we can guess, lots of uh, evade stuff on his guys. <laughs> and apparently he's also uh, free to play, which is pretty impressive. But yeah, I guess if you stick to just one element, then it's easier to do. Alright, but Setia will jump up on top of the uh, wall. That's part of the reason why Fire was slated to be so strong during this tournament. Okay, Magic Attack buff from uh, Classy Glassy. And then Augurus Trustmaster on Mont. Evade up on Mediana. And I think that's the, um, that's the Mont Trustmaster, MR Mont Trustmaster on uh, Rafadu. Uh, Rafaru, she is the Ice Selection Quest unit. Uh, she's Evadi, she has good um, magic resistance. And there's Hate Up on Mont. Yeah, the commentators, they were trying to uh, do their best to uh, sell this match, but yeah, it's Ice versus Fire, so I think we all know what's going to happen here. <laughs> Okay, AoE from Setia. 
take down two of the guys. Uh, Fadu evades. All right, but she doesn't evade that. So maybe not surprising there. <laughs> okay, next let's look at uh, Ashobate's team. Uh, Mono Fire. Yeah, there we're seeing the Agrius uh, Trustmaster on Mont. Uh, looks like he's got the, uh, I forget what that is, but some kind of Dragon Esper. That can raise a Spirit, maybe more uh, magic resistance for Mont. And then the uh, Silver Glasses. Just earlier today I crafted my plus five of the Silver Glasses. Uh, the Aim type gives you almost as much as the Alexandrite Ring, which is pretty good. And then she has the, uh, the Zombie Mask. Okay, next. Uh, this is the third place fight, uh, Nuko versus Arito. Uh, we'll look at uh, Nuko's team after this. Uh, but yeah, let's see who wins, the Mono Dark or the Mono Ice. <laughs> okay, once again, Rob's Trustmaster. And Helena's Trustmaster. Okay, there's the, uh, the image, or whatever you call it in English. Okay, accuracy and critical up on Mediana. And there again is Mont's Trustmaster, raise the agility. Haste and move, that is from uh, Kind's Trustmaster. Defense and spirit up. And Saber again. Alright, and then Evade up from Samurai. Okay, Utsusemi, Evade up on Mediana. And Evade up uh, from Laswell. Okay, Dispel Spread. That will get rid of the uh, accuracy up on Dwayne. And sure enough, he misses. Okay, Super Stern, Hazard, Injury, Nafaru will evade, Mediana will go down. Okay, I think that's 100% hit attack from Helena. Oh, Ice in Peril there, down goes Super Stern. And there's the Paralyzed shot, get both of the characters. <laughs> yeah, the commentators were wondering why she chose that. Maybe she didn't have enough AP, or maybe she, the, uh, the range was too far away. So she went for the, uh, the TP skill. Alright, pretty good damage there from Laswell. And there goes Dwayne. And Hien, take down Helena. Okay, here is uh, Nuko's team. Uh, she said that uh, she worked two weeks <laughs> to get the uh, the movement right with the characters so that they would, uh, you know, uh, go out in the way that she was hoping. Again, uh, she did not want to put the Rob's Trustmaster uh, ability onto Super Stern, or else he would go out too far. Uh, but otherwise, fairly straightforward builds, I guess. I like that she's using the, uh, the Galmia coat. A lot of players that I see that use Helena go for the uh, Soul of Thamasa, but I like the Galmia coat too. And then I guess uh, Fenrir on uh, Super Stern, he can get lots of slash attack from there, but also magic resistance, maybe help with his uh, defense there. And then she said that going into those that semifinal, uh, she changed up the, uh, the vision cards that she was using uh, in order to adapt, but it messed up the, uh, the kind of the order, the turn order that her guys went. Uh, so that also messed up her plans for how they moved. Uh, so maybe that's why she bunched up. Maybe that's why she lost. Okay, last battle. Johnny and uh, Ashobate. Johnny will go back to the team that he was using more uh, generally. We'll look at that after the fight. But uh, Jum, Helena, and uh, little Leela there. And then uh, this battle's kind of funny because the voice actress for Little Leila is there. Also the voice actress for uh, Godasada is there. And then uh, so is Mon, so all hands on deck here. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, Magic Resist from Helena. Oh, there's little Lilo. <laughs> Okay, June, she can get uh, jump two uh, just within her kit, so she doesn't need the uh, the tourmaline ring. And then uh, Johnny's taking advantage of uh, that to get up on top of the wall. And then uh, Ashobate, the, uh, the mono fire user, uh, he said that he really worked to uh, get the AI so that his three characters will kind of stand apart. Uh, because I think we're seeing a lot of uh, AoE damage uh, being pretty devastating here. Okay, there's single target break from uh, June. That's pretty good positioning for her because she's uh, far away from the other two characters, so she's protecting them pretty well. Okay, fire in peril, but not a lot of damage. And Helena, limit break. And then the strategy for Johnny was pretty straightforward. Uh, get June kind of out of the way and then drawing hate and then have the other two characters just blow up everybody. <laughs> Alright, but King Leonis here. And Berserk both of them. Alright, Setia will take down June. Helena will do a regular attack, that's pretty major. Alright, big damage there from Grasida. And Zombie Mask. Heal from Leela. If Johnny's strategy is to blow up everybody with Helena and uh, Leela, I don't want to turn off healing on Leela. Uh, I'm not going to tell the uh, top four player what they should do. <laughs> okay, height three cure. And there we go. <laughs> so that was Mont and Gracida beating up on Leila. That was kind of funny. Okay, finally, let's look at Johnny's uh, kind of main team. Uh, anything interesting here? We have another Galmia coat. That's cool. Fairly straightforward build, though. Lots of uh, magic resistance on uh, June there. Okay, so that was a look at the finals of Leonis Colosseum Season 2. Uh, this time I promise I'll remember to link all of the previous videos that I've made before. And then they talked about wanting to do uh, Season 2, of course, of PvP. Uh, but maybe they would want to do a, uh, like a group PvP, like teams of two or three fighting against each other. So yeah, that'll be something to look forward to. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.